This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can split your screen using a single monitor with two side-by-side -side windows so that you can view your students while showing content during a Google Meet call. In this video, we'll first review the three simple steps to preparing your side-by-side -side screen views with a Meet call, and then how to, during present mode, show only the content window to students so to resize your screen, you're going to be clicking an icon in the top right hand corner of your Chromebook or PC, looks like two squares on top of one another. On a MacBook, you're actually going to be looking for the yellow light that appears in the top left side of your Chrome window. Let's take a look. Okay, so on the top right hand corner of my screen, I see the squares that I'm referring to. Clicking this will take my window from full screen where I can't grab a corner or an edge to resize it, and it'll shrink it down depending on where it was last sized to. That's usually what will show up. So I can grab a corner and pull. I can grab a side and drag. Any of these movements will work. And I can move the placement of my window by grabbing this gray area at the very top of my Chrome browser I don't want to touch a tab to move it. I want to instead grab this blank space here and click and drag and I'll be able to move my window. So typically I start by moving one window and then I have my meet window open or I open it if it's not already there. And I actually want to pull my meet window out into its own space. So for this, I'm going to click on the meet window up here and drag it down and release it. Same thing as before, I'm going to use this gray bar to pull it over off to the side and I can resize it with my arrows. So now that I've resized my windows and pulled out the meet tab for students uh, so that I can view students off to the side, let's just finally talk about how you would organize tabs in, um, in order to show your students. So assuming I have tabs that I want to show my kids so I can open them up ahead of time, I typically will even drag them. I don't know if you realize this, but you can click and drag tabs and order them in a way that makes sense for you. That will mirror the way in which you're going to be sharing them with students. Having them in order is helpful. And then I can Again, I, I have my screen side by side. One common mistake just to be aware of is sometimes teachers will open a new window and, um, and maybe pull down and let go without realizing it and then it looks like all your windows disappeared. It's probably just that the window that you're in now is over top of the other windows that you had. So I know this because if I hover down here where I have this Chrome session showing up, if I hover over, I actually show three different windows. The other way to kind of unhide them is doing that same movement of clicking this uh, resize window button, and then you can peek underneath and see what's there. So I could close the window if I don't need it, or I could drag it back in and tuck it in with the other ones. All right, so now that I have my windows side by side, I've got my meet window on one side and my window for the students on the other side. I'm going to now do the present mode. So when you do present mode in this way, I want to show students only what's on the right side of my screen. I don't want them to see what will be tiled views of all of their friends on the left side. I'm going to choose present now and choose a window. By choosing a window, I see my Meet tab on one side and the other collection of tabs that are uh, the ones that I want to show my students. These are the content tabs for the kids. I'm going to click on this to select it. I have a blue box around it. The Share button lights up for me, and I choose Share. Now that I'm presenting, the students will see only what's in this screen. If I change the tab, they're seeing the entire window, so they will see each of the different windows. Thanks for watching. For this and other videos or help with using technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.